what does the brainstorming for the audience look like to really dive into who they are? What data do we have about who these people are? What have they told us? Then we'll storyboard who is this person and we'll try to come up with a story to flesh out. This is where we fantasize a little bit. If someone's around 40, if that's her generation, what did she listen to when she thought she could change the world? I can lean into some of those things as I'm creating experiences. And I'm thinking about, okay, if she's a mom and she's got kids, she's probably traveled a few hours to get here. She's still concerned about the kids. She had to stay up really late, had to hand off all of her work to somebody else. So I know she's worn out. So I want to do something when she arrives. I'll have aromas, aromas of tropical scents when she arrives. And if some fruit flavored water, that can also be refreshing when she arrives. It's just small little things that make her seem felt and realized. I like that a lot. What I hear from that is the first level is this standard buyer persona that most right. people have. When we talk to our customers and we ask this question, who is your audience? They go to a buyer persona and we're like, okay, now let's go to the second floor, get the personas, but then take some stabs and take some guesses. And not everybody's the yeah, same, sure. but that next level is the detail where someone says they get me, they see me. That's where you get that level of comfortability where someone's like, oh God, I love this event.